four ways to gain God's wisdom. Each one has got Bible verses with it. Number one, a humble spirit comes out of Proverbs 1, 7, and Job 28, 28. The foundation of divine wisdom is a humble spirit. Remain humble. God created you that way. Stay humble. Just let your work speak for yourself. It involves recognizing our human limitation and acknowledges God's supremacy. To fear the Lord is not to cower in fear, but to stand in reverent time, fully aware of His greatness, that we know what He's doing, and if we disobey, we fear in the Lord of what the repercussions may be. So we live in fear of the Lord, not scared of Him, but scared of what He can do to us if we don't do what we're supposed to do. Pardon me. The attitude opens the gateway to God's wisdom. God's wisdom. He's got a lot of it. We don't we can only begin to, to break through. Number two, a healthy a hungry soul. Colossians one thirteen. A hungry soul. When we accept Christ and transition into his kingdom, our spiritual journey begins. Let me tell you, when it began for me, it's a bunch of years ago. I'll tell you about it in the end of this video. Stay tuned. I'll tell you a little bit about it. But when your spiritual journey begins, and you start carrying the Bible and reading and finding out a little bit more about yourself and Christ, things change and things happen. Just as a hungry soul early to learn a new culture, we must hunger for God's wisdom that requires actively seeking spiritual nourishment through prayer, study, and fellowship. When you start doing it and taking part in it and acting on it, others will notice and they'll be interested. You'd be surprised. I had a lot of people be interested. You gain a lot of nourishment that you didn't think you knew about. You pray a lot and you study. I found myself studying a lot of different ways uh, about the Bible and the Lord himself and the messages he leaves for me everywhere, everywhere. Instagram, YouTube, in my daily life, laid right out in front of me, hits me in the head. He'll, he'll let you know. He'll let you know, believe me. The more we desire God's wisdom, the more skillfully we navigate the path to his kingdom. The more skillfully we navigate the path to his kingdom. He'll lay it out for us. Skillfully learn about it, and he'll lay it out for you. He sure has me, and he still will. It still is. That's for sure. Absolutely, it is for sure. Number three. This one's kind of cool. A hearing heart. First Kings 3 9. Like Solomon's request for a healing heart, we must cultivate the art of listening. Just listen. God gave us two ears. I was told that as a kid all the time. God gave us two ears and one mouth. I do it a lot at work, bite my tongue, but you know what? It, it turns out okay. God, God's got your back and better things will come if you just remember to be humble and listen. You can, Of course you can talk when the time is right, but be humble and listen. God's wisdom is all around us, available to us through His Word and the wisdom of those who have walked with him before us. Learn from our elders, whether it's your church, community, whoever groups you're involved in at work, people you look up to, mentors, anybody you can look up to that follow in the Lord. And they'll, they'll teach you a little bit, one or two things. Some of them will be pretty good too. Proverbs reminds us that listening to wise counsel enriches our understanding. Again, we listen and don't talk sometimes. Listen to wise counsel, no matter who it is, a pastor, counselor, a therapist, no matter who it is, your spouse, significant other, even your kids. You never know what your kids have to say. Sometimes a lot, sometimes things that are pretty important. So we, we listen and enriches our understanding. We need to train ourselves to listen actively and attentively to both God and his messages. They're going to be right there for you, right out in front of you. It will be laid right on the open road. 
Listen actively and attentively. They will be there. You will see them. They won't be hidden. Some of them are hidden, but not the, not the big ones. They won't be. <clears throat> A hidden mind. Deuteronomy 4, verse 5 and 6. Deuteronomy is personal to me. If you guys want to know why, leave me a message in the comments and I'll do a video about it. Deuteronomy 4, 5 and 6. True wisdom is incomplete without obedience. We need to have obedience towards the Lord and in our everyday lives. Remain humble as we do the things that we do each and every day. Understanding our need for God. Desiring His wisdom. Understanding the need for God and desiring His wisdom. Man, those are, those are heavy. I have the desire for God every single day. And I have obedience for Him and I'm learning to understand Him. You're not going to understand Him fully right away, but I'm learning <clears throat> for sure. His guidance, his guidance are vital, but wisdom comes to life when we commit to a living out his word. He'll give you what you need to know. He'll show you the word, and it'll fall right into your hands, right into your life. It's going to be right in there. It, his, he knows what's going on, and whatever you're working on or struggling with, he will fix it for you. He will take you through the patches you can find it out. Go back and watch my Barefoot Prayers video. I'll link it at the end of this video. I'll link it to this video, the Barefoot Prayer Walk with Jesus. He'll take care of you. Take your shoes and socks off. Walk with Jesus. Cross the glass. You'll be fine. He'll split the Red Sea for you. Go right through it. I'll, I'll, again, I'll post it. Barefoot Prayers with Jesus. In conclusion, man, this is good stuff. This is a humble heart. This is good stuff. In essence, God's wisdom empowers us to skillfully navigate the complexities of life. I'll say that again. God's wisdom empowers you, not us, you listening to this, if you made it to the end of this video. God's wisdom empowers you to skillfully navigate the complexities of life, even through the hard times. What A, a fire captain once told me, if you're not uncomfortable, you're not learning. If you have a Monday through Friday job or whatever your job is, if you have done that job for a long time and you're consistent in that job and you could step up in it, like I'm, I'm currently stepping up in my job and I'm uncomfortable right now, but I'm learning. So if you're not uncomfortable, you're not learning. Step out of your comfort zone, trust in the Lord, and those, it will come right to you. It might, might take some education and some on-the-job training, but step out. If you're, if you're uncomfortable, you're learning, and that's a good thing. Don't, don't anybody ever tell you differently that you can do it. If there's a will, there's a way, you'll get it. I promise you. I promise you that God's backing on that and mine. If you need prayer on it, let me know in the comments. I'll pray for you. It is the art of acting wisely with the knowledge we have in trusting the unknown God, in trusting Him, the unknown God. We know He's there. We know He's there. And trust in Him and trust in the Lord. He won't let you down. Pray for what you need. Pray for what you need. He'll take care of you. I promise you, he'll take care of you. The journey to acquire God's wisdom is marked by a humble spirit, a hungry soul, a hearing heart, and a healing mind. A heating mind. Which one do you have? All four? Just one? I like the hearing heart. Let me know in the comments. And it leads to a life characterized by skillful obedience and God-guided decisions. Remember, skillful obedience. You'll be okay. Remaining humble, remaining humble and skillfully obedient to the Lord. Just as you're skillful in the job that you do every day, become skillful in the Lord, and you're going to be okay. I promise you. I promise you, you will be okay. And His decisions... His decisions are going to be the right ones for you. I promise you. Have a blessed evening, everybody. And remember, it's a great day to have a great day. I love you guys.